Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow. Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. And a friend, uh, what's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed, our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Want to take part in the ceremony, but want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket, that'd do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I the veo. Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour, sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... human. I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant, even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man, with dreams, ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. What, you, you two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. 
Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. Still full. His favorite. Strategic Reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. <clears throat> Locked. I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Found it. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentinos, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Nice still. Jack. Pure and simple. 
Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olo, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. I'd been hired to drive him and some contraband across the border. 
He bought some goods clipped from Arasaka. Top secret. Priceless. <laughs> A lizard. And, uh... I remember what he said then. That I came from a place where everyone's family. So he must be too. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always, and made him who he was. But most importantly, everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone. Everything. But they were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up, and whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do. Reach for fortune and fame. No fear in eyes or heart. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Let it go, Mama Wells. Excuse me. She's a good woman, and your son loved her. Go, invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. I'm gonna Campos miss him. Torn up. I already do. Like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be <laughs> torn up after Me too, cabron. Oh, Me too. Don't go start Here's the Jackie. Not Got you. off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Pour you another? For Jackito? Pour. For Jackie. Amen, brother. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? I think we might know each other. 
Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Ay, right, give me a break. Right, let's go. Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. She's a strong one. You, uh, here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. You called. <laughs> Promise I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently, they carted her off to a ripper dock, goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Know where to find this Fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guy's all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later V. See, this more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Get him, boy! 
Scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a finance with you? Take it to court, you pussy. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. Hope that teaches those candy ass scotch hey, suckers hey. not to come around here no more. Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn! Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Someone ain't messing around! What the hell? What the? Hey! This isn't some escape den in Pacifica! Sit in, wait your turn! Got a couple of questions. Quick you answer, quick we'll leave you to get back to your patience. Logical through and through. Impossible to argue with. You see, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Fine, I'll wait. I need you to be a big girl now. This could hurt. Bear with me just one more second. There. How's it feel? Looks fine, too. And it never hurts to smile, sweetheart. You tiger claws! Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a... I'll be more than glad to show you around. But, um, uh, later, perhaps. Suggest you start remembering all you can. Either that, or I'll make sure you never forget my face. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. They mentioned a moth of all things. Virtues with the death's head. 
Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air? I'll be outside. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together. You wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Dead said symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit'd be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me. I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet Domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Security or style? Thanks to the bulletproof Arendite from Rayfield, your only worry is getting stuck in traffic. Looking for something raw. I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head'll cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? 
Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Hop in. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. Might catch some. that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XBDs. Ordinary box, Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Ordered recently. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Electric corp patch and the coveralls. Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Coffee was cold, like from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly, which is not something someone does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. Okay, we're looking for an electric core power plant located near a buck a slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Buck a slice chicks out, too. How can you be sure, though? Electrocore power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head Moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street.
And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet. See if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. I'm here. Got no time to creep around. I'll do it. Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Hey, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. You hear that? That shirt. I know it. Evelyn's? Without a doubt. Relax. We'll add RTL. Need to 
get into the hallway past this room. Okay. What about them? I can always just get rid of them my way. Your call, but you gotta make it now. Way down. They're on us! Gutted out all her implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they're at it. How so very resourceful. Scavs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. You? No! You got that right! No! 
One of the hottest topics discussed was the ever-increasing rate of cyber-psycho attacks. Over the last decade, the number of incidents has increased as much as... That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable 2. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right. Let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? Doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. Jerking around the cable probably didn't help. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? What's there to wait for? Didn't go through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. 